Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Cobra Daytona Build. In this episode I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I've got a dilemma here and I'm hoping some of my subscribers can help out. I've got to get some wheels ordered because if I don't, I'm hearing that the backlog on wheels right now can be months. And uh, the way I'm going along here, I could have some wheels and tires on this thing in a roller here in no time once I get some more suspension pieces. So that's my dilemma. What do I order? Um, I was looking at the uh, Forge Star F14, very modern looking wheel. I don't know if it's right or not. So what I tend to do with this car is I'm going to primer it kind of a medium gray with probably some black gray stripes primered. Uh, that and drive it for a while, maybe a year or two before I actually paint it. When I paint it, it's going to be painted a light blue, white stripes, you know, great imagination. Um, kind of like the originals. And I would like to have some sort of white wheel. But the white wheel on a medium gray car is not going to look great, so I could go a year, year and a half, two years with this funky looking setup. So I was thinking of ordering some F14s in bronze. Uh, kind of very race car-ish look. I think it would look good. Um, as you can see, I'll show a picture of the wheels here. Here's what they look like. So I don't know if that's the right route. Go some F14s uh, with the bronze look. I'm thinking 335s in the rear on an 18 inch wheel, 12 inch wide, with 275s on the front uh, with an 18 inch wheel, 10 inch wide. That's my general plan, but I wanna hear what everybody thinks. Do I go with a Halibrand? My son actually loves the Halibrands and thinks that's the end all to end all. Um, I had those on the Cobra, I loved it, the knockoffs were cool, but I want to do something a little more, I don't know, show off my brakes. So, because my next episode, I'm going to show you what I've got for brakes, and they are amazing. Um, I've actually mocked them up a little bit, got to pull them back off. Uh, they got to do a little modifications to make them work, which I'll show you uh, one of these episodes coming up. Do I do that route? Uh, do I more like a, a wheel like the original ones have, but then you can't really see the brakes? So, you can see my dilemma. I'm not sure what to do. Uh, the bronze I think would be good and I could always paint them down the road. So let's say I said, okay, I did the bronze for a year and a half and then I want to have the more, you know, old school look as far as color. I could, uh, you know, scuff these things up and spray them white. I don't know. So please throw some comments at me. Let me know what you think. Uh, you know, if, if you see another wheel out there, you think it'd be great. I'm trying to keep the price reasonable. I don't want to spend, you know, 1500 bucks each on some forged wheel. Uh, Forge Line makes some beautiful wheels, but they're not inexpensive. Uh, Forge Star makes this, what they call rotary formed, I believe. It's kind of not a cast, but not a forge. Uh, quite a bit less expensive. You can get a nice Forge Star for 500 bucks for what I'm looking for, 550, somewhere in that range. I can swallow that, but to spend a thousand on a wheel, ah, I have a hard time with that. Yeah, I know they're stronger, blah, 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 but I just have a hard time spending a thousand bucks on a wheel. I just don't have the cash for that. So look at this, uh, you know, Forge Star F14. Let me know what you think. Bronze, white. Maybe you got another idea of a totally different wheel. Let me know. I just don't plan on going with something that's too closed off because they said I want to show off these brakes because they are beasts. 14 inch front rotors um, and they're huge. So they're going to look beautiful behind the wheel. Let me know what you think. Shoot me some comments. Uh, thanks again for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe and could use your help. Thank you.